Hello, and welcome to the session of Advanced Cluster Management for Kubernetes and Ansible Automation Platform. Today, we're going to be talking about the application modernization for hybrid environments. Red Hat Advanced Cluster Manager for Kubernetes offers end-to-end -end management observability and control to manage your clusters and application lifecycle, along with security and compliance of your entire Kubernetes domain across multiple data centers and public clouds, while it provides a single view to manage your Kubernetes clusters. From Red Hat OpenShift deployed on-premise and in public clouds, as well as from a public cloud providers like AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google, and IBM. Red Hat OpenShift is the clear choice for container orchestration, offering a platform for deploying and managing containers in a standard consistent control pane. Red Hat OpenShift and Red Hat Advanced Cluster Manager for Kubernetes provide the platform and the capabilities that address common challenges faced by administrators and site reliability engineers as they walk across a range of environments, including multiple data centers, private clouds, and public clouds that run in Kubernetes clusters. Today, we're excited to bridge the traditional container and edge through our Ansible automation platform. Perhaps the only automation and container platform solution that is true infrastructure agnostic. Advanced cluster management for Kubernetes and Ansible just don't care whose platform you're running on. The new Ansible resource operator deployed as part of the Red Hat Advanced Cluster Management is our answer. We're making the Ansible automation platform a first class provider inside ACM or Advanced Cluster Manager for Kubernetes to enable callouts to automation assets deployed on the automation Ansible platform. To be made easily accessible to container management, workflows are connected to industry standards leading platforms. Enabling this integration will allow customers to deploy and scale complex applications across hybrid, multi-cloud, multi-cluster environments. Please note that this feature will be available as a tech preview in Red Hat Advanced Cluster Management for Kubernetes. In this architecture slide, we can see how it all comes together. Once you have provisioned a new cluster or importing a new cluster into Advanced Cluster Management for Kubernetes, you can deploy an application resource based on the application channel that has been subscribed to. In this case, it's GitHub. During the build of this application, you will have the ability to configure pre and post deployment tasks driven by the Ansible automation platform. Once configured, the application will begin deploying to all of the selected resources and any pre and post task will be executed. You can refer to any of these tasks inside the topology view of Advanced Cluster Management for Kubernetes, including job status by providing a direct URL to the job executing in the Ansible automation platform. This empowers the developers to build a full end-to-end -end application without having to waste the time of all those tasks that normally would require the integration and interaction with another team to automate what can now be performed with one single pane of glass. From configuring a firewall rule to integrating with a change management tool, as long as Ansible Automation Platform can automate it, we can do it. Thank you so much for watching this brief introduction on building the next gen applications with Red Hat Advanced Cluster Management for Kubernetes and Ansible Automation Platform.